Hello Geminis, this is your pick a deck reading to see how the person that you're thinking about feels, whether it's you, situation, what's going on with them, okay? So you guys go ahead and pick a deck, one, two, or three. You can pick all of them, you can pick one of them, you can pick two, whatever you guys want to do. However, you can, um, you know, pull out of the situation what resonates with you, okay? So that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. And we'll get started here with deck one. And see what's going on with the person that you're thinking about. How does Gemini's person feel about them? How do they feel about them? How do they feel? How does Gemini's person feel about them? Very attracted to you. Very attracted to you. But um, they feel like... You know, th there was a choice that was made here, either by you or by them, okay? And I feel like you guys probably made the choice. That's your card there. Let's see. I feel like they miss you. Um, I, I do feel like this is a shared energy, though. I feel like... Um, they feel like you guys ignore them a lot they feel like you probably um really didn't love them i don't feel that though but this person is feeling like um basically that you were bored with them okay cancer energy there that you were bored with them that you were looking for better hmm I feel like they beat themselves up a lot. Um, I feel like they think about this situation a lot. What they did wrong. But they're not doing anything right now. I feel like, you know, at this point, they are just, you know, wanting to let it go. Okay. Let's see what this is. Yeah. They're trying to move forward, but they, they still think about, you know, what you guys shared. For sure, they think about it, but they they are moving on, um, trying to do what's best for them at this point. Yeah, I feel like you guys still love each other. Like I said before, um, I feel like this person is definitely um, looking for somebody that they feel like can reciprocate what they're feeling. Um, that it's not one-sided because I get that they feel like it was one-sided there and they were the ones that, you know, really loved you and, you know, you really weren't all in. It's what I'm getting here. They're wanting that connection with someone, but they also still think about what you guys have because they feel like it was real. I feel like it was real. Okay. Maybe, you know, some people express their emotions differently than others. Maybe you didn't show it. Or maybe they feel like you didn't show it. Let's say that. Somebody here wants to speak, though. And my Gemini's, I kind of feel like it's you guys. Somebody has something to say, and I feel like they're eager to say it. Um, and this Knight of Swords holds the Sword of Truth. So there, there's something that somebody wants to communicate about this, this love that you guys share here. Somebody wants to say that, um, no, I did not think that somebody was better than you. No, I was not bored with you, you know. Somebody wants to, I feel like, impede the other person from actually moving on and finding someone else is what I'm getting from this, okay? So we have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. We have Cancer. We have Pisces. And... Um, yeah okay so somebody's feeling like maybe you didn't love them or you didn't care about them the way that they cared about you um they still love you for sure but i think they feel that um you you guys tried to move on to something that you felt like was better than them okay let's see Deck two. how do they feel about my gemini's here how do they feel how do they feel? How do 
excited they filled out my Gemini's. Hmm. I feel like they didn't want to move on, but they are. They're they're trying to um, explore new things. Um, I think you know there's there's still a little you know iffy about what happened between you guys, but I think they're trying to get themselves together here and move on. They're not moving fast though. Um, yeah, they're trying to gain harmony in their life, balance. Um, I feel like a lot of them probably are willing to reunite even. Um, if they feel like you guys can be happy this go round, okay, because this Knight of Wands is not on a horse, yeah. And then we have the King of Swords here. I think there's something that this person is, um, something that they're learning. Some of them have gone back to school. Um, I feel like a lot of them are into counseling. Um, you know, trying to make people feel better, balance out their lives even here with temperance and the king of swords. I feel like this person has this energy where when they talk to people, they, um, they uplift people, you know, they hate, they help other people to like, you know, gain their, their balance in their lives, whatever that means, you know. I feel like right now they're really trying not to use a lot of emotion. They're trying to come from a more logical standpoint. Okay, they're forward facing. So they're actually, you know, trying to move on with their lives here. Okay. Then we have the tower. Hmm. There's something that's going on with them that has interfered with them gaining the harmony that they are seeking. Somebody's got one foot in and one foot out. I feel like there's something that somebody here has realized um, about the breakup. And I think somebody here is contemplating um, coming back here. Somebody's awakening to this connection. Then we have the Hierophant. It's like they struggle. They struggle with coming back and reuniting and then standing their ground here with the Hierophant. Again, I feel like this person is, um, they're helping people here. This person's helping people. Some of them, some of these people are, this tower is not something that's, that's horrible that's happened. Um, some of them have, you know, they're, they're, they're woke. Okay. This person's woke. And I feel like um, this person's very spiritual very spiritual here and I feel like they spread the message whatever that means they they spread the message they spread the love yeah page of cups there's something this person is woke this person has a lot of spiritual um, they've gone through a spiritual awakening I feel this person and I feel like you know they really do um, share the love with people they spread a message um this person has some healing energy whoever this is this is um let's see sagittarius somebody that has air in their chart as well gemini libra aquarius scorpio energy here taurus energy um and maybe pisces okay so yeah Somebody's thinking about they're thinking about coming back though, but I feel like you know right now they feel like they're they're um, they have a calling is what I'm getting. There's a calling. Okay, so let's see what's going on with deck three. What's going on with deck three? How do they feel about my Gemini's? How do they feel? about Gemini. How do they feel? We have a tower. 
Mm, you guys had a breakup, um, and I, I feel like it, it kind of rocked both of your, your worlds here with this tower, Scorpio energy. They feel like <laughs> you did a number on them is what they feel. Then we have the Page of Cups here. They're, they're healing. They're in the process of... Um, they're in the process of healing. Hmm. Ace of Air. There's something that this person has realized. I kind of feel like this is spilling over from the other deck. Um, but there, there's something about themselves they've realized here. This person. Ace of Fire. Oh, wow. Okay. They're starting over. They're starting over. There's something that they... Um, there's something that they are learning here. As far as their emotions. You know, I think this person feel like they probably gave too much in this situation. And... Um, you know, it's like, what good did that do me? So now they're coming as like the page of cups here, not really wanting to, you know, extend too much. I think that's something that they feel like is beneficial for them. That's where they will find victory and not giving too much of themselves. But they're really trying to start over here after you guys um, have separated. I also feel like that somebody here wants a new start with you. Yeah, going into a new cycle here with the world card, completing something, something wrapping up, and then something else is starting over again or starting for them. Okay, but I feel like it's bringing something back here. There's something. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Somebody's worried. I feel like this person is, um, this is not somebody that, that is comfortable expressing emotion. And I feel like whatever happened between you guys is bringing something out of them that they were not comfortable doing before. And I feel like this is something that they're working on because they realize this about themselves here with this ace of air. They realize something about themselves contributed to this tower. Maybe they were overly emotional. Maybe they overreacted a lot. But um, I feel like this person is wanting to make a change here. Um, I feel like they want to start over. There is something, there's something that they have wrapped up, something that you guys have wrapped up. Um, these are two endings, but with the universe being here, there's also a new beginning. So we have the Ace of Wands and the world here. I feel like this person wants to start over. They don't know how to with this Eight of Swords energy. It's like all these different thoughts are going around in their head and they're just not sure about it. They're not sure how to. They're not sure how to, you know initiate what it is that they want from you but I feel like they definitely want they want to go another round with you they they want to get back for sure is what I'm thinking here okay so that's what I have for you guys and I will be speaking with you soon